The Liberal Democrat leader claimed the bitter arguments between Leave and Remain voters would go on endlessly until Britons had the chance to vote again. Sir Vince told LBC's Andrew Castle that he wholeheartedly welcomed Nigel Farage's intervention this week, in which the Brexiteer suggested a second referendum could put an end to the country's division, and Sir Vince, an arch Remainer who has been campaigning for a second referendum on the final Deal agreed that pro-EU campaigners in the UK would not stop fighting until Britons achieved another vote. Getty Liberal Democrat leader claimed the bitter national arguments between Leave and Remain would go ONHE promised that the second referendum would be the final say on the matter, regardless of whether the majority voted to Remain or Leave. LBC host Castle quizzed the Lib Dem leader on his preference for a public vote, rather than letting MPs decide on the final deal. Sir Vince said people, not MPs, should have in the final cast. Representative democracy can work like that in this case, because if Parliament were simply reject what the government achieved, the public would be rather angry if MPs made a decision contrary to their interests. Letting the public have the final say was the only way to deal with it properly. Thursday, January 11, 2018 protests kick off in Sofia as Bulgaria takes over its first presidency of the European Council if we lost a final vote I would certainly take the view that's the end of the argument we've just got to get on with it's a Vince Cable if we did have a final vote on the deal people like myself who have argued that we should remain in the European Union if we lost a final vote I would certainly take the view that's the end of the argument we've just got to get on with it. At the moment I will continue to argue that leaving is a seriously bad idea. If we leave it on the terms we look likely to get a very expensive divorce payment, an unresolved Irish border, a weak trade deal then large numbers of people who believe in Remain will continue to fight and endlessly argue. Mr Farage shocked his Brexiteer colleagues this week by suggesting another Brexit vote should be held, arguing it would lead to a more decisive victory for the Leave campaign. And silence remains supporters like Nick Clegg and Tony Blair. The former UKIP leader said his meeting with Michelle Barnier had convinced him a decent deal would not be offered and Parliament would reject it.